Hello students, how are you? I hope all of you are fit and fine. Today we will be discussing new chapter, our life supports. This is chapter number 12 from Living Science Textbook. Basically, we will be discussing some MCQs and question and answers from the chapter. So, let us start. So, here we have our first MCQ or you can also call it as tick the correct answer. The first in that list is this gas is present in air in maximum percentage. The options are oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and argon. Okay, we have to select one amongst the four options that we have been provided with students if you have read the lesson you can easily guess that nitrogen is a correct answer for this okay so as you can see from this uh, pie chart that nitrogen is in maximum amount it is almost around 79 percent among all the other gases that are present in air so nitrogen is a correct answer let us move on to the next question the next question is which of the following changes into clouds rain fog and snow the options are argon water vapor oxygen or hydrogen students the obvious answer for this question is water vapor as we all know that water vapor gets converted to clouds rain fog and snow let us move on to the next question. This process is used to remove insoluble impurities from water, sedimentation, chlorination, distillation or evaporation. What do you think is the correct answer? Right, sedimentation. So sedimentation is used to remove the insoluble impurities from water like you can consider sand for example. Okay, so sedimentation is the most easiest way to remove the insoluble impurities. Let us move on to the next question. Impure water contains many disease causing germs like those of cholera, jaundice, dysentery, all of this. What is the correct answer for this? Right, all of this. Why? Because all these diseases or the germs that cause this disease are present in impure water. So, cholera, jaundice, dysentery, all of this diseases which are caused by certain germs can be present in a impure water let us see question number five this water is mainly used in car batteries science experiments and in medicine the options are boiled water distilled water tap water sea water okay so which kind of water is used in car batteries science experiments and medicines right distilled water okay so distilled water is generally used in car batteries science experiments and in medicines okay let us see next question which is fill in the blanks and first in that list is the thick blanket of air is held around the earth by earth's dash since this is only fill in the blanks we will not have any options okay so you have to think about the answer and until that i will read the next question Plants get nitrogen with the help of bacteria in the dash. And the third question is, dash is mainly used in car batteries, science experiments and in medicines. Now this question is quite familiar because we have seen the same type of question in our MCQs also. Like uh, um, that is, tick the correct answers. So this answer you will easily guess out. Okay, and this is little different, this too. Okay, so what do you think is the correct answer for all these three? Well, first question answer is gravity. The thick blanket of air is held around the earth by earth's gravity. Okay, so earth's gravity hold the thick blanket of air. Then plant get nitrogen with the help of bacteria that are present in the soil because nitrogen fixation is done by these bacteria. And then distilled water is mainly used in car batteries, science experiments and medicine. And the same question was there in MCQ also. So it's quite easy to guess. Okay. Let us see next fill in the blank. Fourth is the air we breathe out is called ash. Fifth is when there is more water vapor in the air we say that the air is dash. 
and sixth is the higher we go the dash is the air pressure now for first question the air we breathe out is called what okay so the answers are exhaled or expired air so either you can say exhaled or expired for both the answers you will get marks it's not like we have to write both the answers okay you can write any one then when there is more water vapor in the air we said the air is humid and sixth is the higher we go the lesser is the air pressure because as you go higher and higher you will find the air pressure goes on decreasing okay then seventh fill in the blank is when a solid dissolves in liquid dash is formed and eighth is dash water is purest form of water now the answer for this is when solid dissolves in liquid we call it as a solution solution is formed and distilled water is a purest form of water okay so that was fill in the blanks then short answers name any four gases present in air here you will write air contains oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and hydrogen then the second question is how does water vapor form in the atmosphere here you will write heat from the sun causes water to evaporate from the surface of seas rivers and lakes and then this turns the liquid water into water vapor in the atmosphere okay let us see third question why should drinking water be purified well impure water contains many disease causing germs like cholera jaundice etc so drinking water needs to be purified okay because if we don't purify it then we might contract one of this disease okay so we should purify it because purification kills the germs and we might not get the disease then fourth question name three processes involved in the treatment of the town water supply here what town water supplies do is the sedimentation is done then filtration is done and chlorination is done okay so sedimentation filtration chlorination these are the three processes that are done in the uh, water supply projects then comes the long answer questions and first in that list is how is air useful to us here you will write air is useful for breathing it is useful for burning it also prevents meteors from hitting the surface of earth because we all know how dangerous can be meteors and this air what does it do it prevents the meteors from hitting the surface of earth then comes the third question how is stratosphere a very important layer of atmosphere here you will write the ozone layer lies within the stratosphere ozone molecule in this layer absorb high energy ultraviolet radiations or light from the sun and convert it into heat thus stratosphere is very important layer as it protects us from harmful rays uv rays are very dangerous as we all know they can also cause skin cancer and ozone molecules play a very important role of filtering out these rays then comes the third question when a burning candle is covered with a glass it gets extinguished why does this happen and what does this activity show here you will write this happens because oxygen in the air inside the glass is utilized in burning the candle and all the oxygen gets converted into carbon dioxide carbon dioxide does not support burning and hence candle stops burning so this is how you will write the answer of the question when burning candle is covered with glass it gets extinguished so you have to first give the reason okay and then you have to tell what does this activity show okay and so what was the reason for burning candle because all the oxygen gets used up it get converted to carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide does not support the burning okay hence candle stops burning so this is the reason and this is what activity shows let us see fourth question which is what is sedimentation and decantation here you will write first about sedimentation in this method the mixture is allowed to stand undisturbed in a container after some time the insoluble substances such as mud settle down at the bottom of the container as the sediments this process is called sedimentation and then we carefully drain the clean water into another beaker and what do we call it we call it as decantation okay 
Then comes the last question. Explain filtration with the help of diagram. Here you will write filtration is the act and science of using filters. In this method, insoluble impurities can be removed by passing the impure water through a filter paper. Okay. And then what we have to do? We have to do the diagram. So diagram, you have to draw it like this. Okay. And of course, explanation needs to be written. Okay. So if you write the explanation and the diagram, then you will get full marks for this question. Okay. Now let us move on to the next question. Let us see sixth question, which is what is distilled water and what are its uses? Here you will write distillation is a widely used method for separating mixtures based on differences in their boiling points. To separate a mixture of liquids, the liquid can be heated to change the components which have a different boiling point into the gas phase. The water collects by this process, which is called as a distilled water. Distilled water is a purest form of water and does not contain any impurities or germs. It is widely used in car batteries, then injections and medicines. So it has a wide use. Remember students that distillation generally it is done with the liquids which has two different boiling points and most of them have different boiling points. So we can easily use this property of different boiling points to separate two liquids. Okay. So like if there is for example uh, water and alcohol which can easily mix with each other. And the fact is they both have separate boiling points. So we can easily separate water and alcohol by boiling it. Okay. And this is how distillation is done. Well, students, that was all from my side. I hope you will find this video useful to solve the exercise of the lesson. And if you have any doubts regarding this lesson, you can put your queries in comment box. So see you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye bye.